Delegate Don Dwyer representing the state of Maryland, the Maryland General Assembly. Thank you very much. And you've come here to show support for this group. What do you think of the of the event here today? Well, clearly to me, the most important thing I've ever done in my life was to take an oath of office to protect and defend not only my state constitution, but the constitution of the United States of America. And sadly, the majority of legislatures across this country have never even read the constitutions, much less understand the commitment of an oath of office. Thank you very much for all your Thank hard work, you. sir. And next we have from Montana, Representative Joel Bonick, and I represent House District 61 in Montana, and this is my first term as a legislator, and I've been invited here to come and uh, reaffirm my oath as a legislator on, at the request of Lieutenant Commander David Gilley, and it's an honor to be here, and when I told the people of Montana that I intended to support and defend the Constitution of the United States and of Montana, I meant it, and I've introduced uh, legislation and resolutions in the House that would do that, and I'm proud to be here. Thank you very much, sir, and thank you for all the hard work you're doing. Thank you. Oh, go ahead. My name is Guy Cunningham. I'm a re retired lieutenant commander, author of the book Peacekeeping and UN Operational Control, a study of their effect on unit cohesion. I'm here today and was asked to be a speaker concerning the subject of the fidelity of individuals who have taken and take and will take the oath of office to be a member of the military. Subsequently, uh, in my studies and research, and even in 1994, I witnessed and took a snapshot of how the young Marines at 29 Palms had actually no understanding of the oath of office which they took to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States. So I'm here today to uh, uh, be seen as an oath keeper, a new organization that uh, certainly is aligned with the uh, uh, principles of the Constitution and the oath of office that is taken by an American citizen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm David Gilley. I'm a Lieutenant Commander in the Navy. Got about 19 and a half years in now, and I'm really pleased to be gathered here with other military people, other people who've sworn an oath, state legislators, state police officers, sheriffs, others who hold some public service office on condition of an oath to the United States, to the, to the Constitution of the United States, to gather on Lexington Green and renew publicly our oaths. Interestingly to me, our country is in kind of a time of crisis. In a previous time of crisis, in 1798, during the quasi-war of France, it's very interesting to note that up and down the coast, militia units gathered and during their regular musters, all the officers would renew publicly their oaths to the Constitution. And then they would send a letter or an address to the President of the United States saying, Hey, President Adams, we gathered on Lexington Green on this sacred spot and we renewed our oaths to the Constitution of the United States because we believe that's our only point of safety as a country to rally around our oaths. That will keep us safe in this crisis. Anyway, they did that in 1798, and uh, I'm honored to sort of do that same thing here, although this is not an official um, public gathering. We're not gathered here in the capacity of our official offices. We're gathered here as private citizens who happen to hold various offices. Uh, but in other respects, this is the same thing happening here. These people realizing how sacred their oaths are, how important it is to not violate them, uh, to reassure themselves and also their fellow public servants uh, that they are going to honor their oaths and if enough Americans uh, who are public service will honor, uh, servants will honor their oaths, we'll get through this crisis too. Thank you very much, sir, and thank you for your service. Well, thank you. Hi there. Hi, how are you? So, you, state your name and... Uh, uh, Corporal Sean Richard Clark. Cor and you're still active duty? No, I was released from uh, duty as of 10 days ago. As of 10 days ago? Yep, I've served out my contract. Well, welcome back to civilian life, sir. Thank you. Uh, um, so, how do you feel about being here on this historic green and uh, for this purpose? I feel good about being here. I'm, I'm glad to see that there's a, a, a good turnout of people who actually understand the Oath of Allegiance. So you look forward to reaffirming your oath? Yep, yep. Doesn't have an expiration date on it. I knew that when I took it. Uh, that's how I feel as, a, as an American. And you got to stand by what you say you're going to do. Thank you very much for your service, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. 
Yes, sir. You're on video. Okay. Oh, Ooh. I see that. Yeah. Would you like to say hi? Hi. Hello. Nice Liberty, baby. I Smile for Liberty. Um, yes, uh, if you I could say anything you wanted to uh, your elected officials, what would you like to say? I like to say stop I mean, the corruption, I, I, I gotta end you. the corruption in the courts, end the corruption in elections, end the corruption with illegal immigration. Defend the Constitution. If you can't, get out of the office because you took an oath. You better get yourself out. That's it. Thank you very much. You're welcome.